He is known for his distinguished military career and achieving the rank of general in the United States Army. He served as the Deputy Chief of Staff for Operations in George S. Patton Jr.'s commands during World War II. He is Paul Donnell Harkins. In the annals of military history, one name stands out, Paul D. Harkins, a legendary figure whose contributions to the United States Army are nothing short of remarkable. Born and raised in the United States, Harkins displayed a passion for military service from a young age. As he climbed the ranks, his dedication and strategic brilliance became evident, leading to important roles in some of the most significant military events of the 20th century. Harkins' journey truly began during World War II, where he served as the Deputy Chief of Staff for Operations in the commands led by the renowned General George S. Patton Jr. Harkins played a pivotal role in the planning and execution of numerous successful military operations. His strategic expertise and unwavering commitment to the cause contributed to the Allied victory in Europe, a turning point in the war. However, it was Harkins' appointment as the first commander of the Military Assistance Command, Vietnam, MACV, that would solidify his place in history. From 1962 to 1964, Harkins led the U.S. military efforts in Vietnam during a critical period of the conflict. His leadership and tactical acumen were instrumental in shaping the American approach to the war and laying the groundwork for future operations. Harkins' experiences in Vietnam would go on to shape his perspective on the complexities of war and the importance of diplomacy in resolving conflicts. In January 1962, Paul Harkins was promoted to general and assumed command of Military Assistance Command Vietnam, MACV, the successor unit to Military Assistance Advisory Group Vietnam. This coincided with the escalation of the Vietnam War and marked the beginning of Harkins' leadership in the conflict. His appointment garnered attention, and he even graced the cover of Time magazine, being hailed as the epitome of a professional soldier. The article emphasized the unwavering commitment of the United States to remain in Vietnam until victory was achieved, quoting Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy's statement that they would stay for as long as it took. At the start of his command, Harkins and his staff expressed optimism about the progress of the war. However, as violence escalated, discrepancies between the information released by Harkins and the realities witnessed by reporters in the field raised doubts about his credibility. Journalists began to suspect that Harkins was either being misinformed by his staff or deliberately providing misleading information. The Battle of AP Back, in particular, shook the confidence of the press in Harkins' reports when details emerged that contradicted the official army version. These discrepancies not only embarrassed the Kennedy administration but also eroded trust in Harkins' leadership. Harkins' leadership style and detachment from the realities on the ground further fueled the skepticism of the press. He was portrayed as an aloof figure, described by journalist Neil Sheehan as an American general with a swagger stick and cigarette holder, who seemed disconnected from the situation in Vietnam. Reporters, including David Halberstam of the New York Times, grew increasingly frustrated with Harkins. Halberstam famously refused to shake Harkins' hand at a 4th of July celebration and even called for his court-martial and execution. However, some observers, like John Mecklin, acknowledged Harkins' dedication to his duties, noting his Spartan lifestyle and daily travels to gather information from troops. While Harkins may not have been a strategic genius, Mark Moyer, an associate professor at the U.S. Marine Corps University, believes that he excelled as a motivator and technical coach. Moyer argues that Harkins' strength lay in his ability to inspire and guide his troops, which was crucial given the circumstances. Despite criticisms and parodies from the media, Harkins continued to fulfill his duties until his departure in June 1964. By then, the U.S. troop presence in Vietnam had increased significantly, setting the stage for General William Westmoreland to take command and escalate the conflict even further. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.